defend the world from the return of the Shadow Kings, just as the brave Pharaoh did 5,000 years ago. YouTube Vintage Hugo here today, and as you can see, I'm in beautiful tropical paradise. So I went to a couple of lo a local card shops here, and I picked up some PSA cards. We have a PSA 9 Ancient Fairy Dragon Ghost Rare First Edition, and a PSA 9 Black Wing Dragon. So uh, really happy to pick those up. And then I also picked up a Duelist Pack Jaden Yuki 2. And this set happens to have some nostalgic meaning to me because you can pull the Notorious Card Trooper from it. So we're gonna do a, a fun little pack opening here for you guys while I'm on vacation. So I bought some other packs with Astro Phoenix and UC. So I think there's about five cards in each pack and um, the chance of pulling an ultra rare is one in 24. So let's get right into it. So we just got a rare Destiny Hero Dogma. Okay, so 0 for 1. We're going to try to speed through this. Don't want to waste too much time. We'll actually open an uh, alternate to do us pack UC here. Okay, see if we can get anything. We got a strategy card and a Turbo Warrior Rare. So nothing in those two packs. Let's see if Astro Phoenix can get us anything. Uh, Clock Tower Prison, that has been printed in an ultimate rare and a pretty cool card in an ultimate rare. All right, so our last random duelist pack you see. Dun, dun, dun. Battle Mania, so no random hollow, but the, the pull ratio in these packs are pretty hard. Um, let's see. I know it says uh, ripped it in half. We'll have, to, we'll have to look at the back of one of these packs. So we're gonna open up all 30 packs. So a chance of pulling an ultra rare is one in 24. So there are two ultras in the set. So I would love, if we pull card trooper, it's a win in my buck. So I, I know since I just opened this box, I'm gonna lose money. Um, there's nothing this set that's worth over any, any amount really. And I paid over a hundred dollars. So um, this should just be a nostalgic fun opening for you guys. So uh, hopefully we can pull something cool. And I guess if I pull Card Trooper, I probably will stop the opening. Um, nothing doesn't hurt to keep these sealed, and I'm not not gonna attempt to sell them or anything. So hopefully we can we can pull Card Trooper and have a fun opening. So pack one. <laughs> <laughs> what are the odds? So this is one in twenty four, um, and just that is just super super. I mean, it's off centered. Would get a PSA 10, but the odds of me randomly just pulling this out of the, the pile is is crazy. So, oh my, that's get this sleeved up. Uh, I'll probably send it to PSA grade uh, and get it graded, even though it's it's a little off centered. Probably would get a nine just based on the centering, um, but still super cool to be able to pull this card, a nostalgic machine card for me. So like, I mean, yeah, we just have this random pile of cards. So we'll, we'll open probably, you know, 10 or so. There's 30 packs in this in this box. So we'll, uh, we'll, we'll do some do some digging for you guys just to have a good fun opening here. So I already got, got the cake, so now we'll just eat it. Okay, pack two. We got some hero cards and a Neospace Aqua Dolphin. So we've about got all hero in that pack. Uh, there, there would be definitely a chance to pull another ultra um, with there being 30 packs. We have a really cool a reprints in, in this set with Evil Hero, Wild Wingman, and uh, all the hero cards and things like that. So uh, a really cool reprint set and um, Card Trooper being, being a highlight for sure and magically pulling that in the very first pack. Okay, so let's see if we can pull another hollow. Oh, okay, we got, yep, Kid Guard hollow, super rare. So let's look at the ratio here real quick. We have um, 
17 commons, seven rares, four super rares, one in six, and two ultras, one in 24 packs. So we are definitely batting above the average right now. Okay, so yeah, we'll probably open, like I said, probably about 10 packs total, and uh, I'll open, probably end up opening the other 20 on a, a rainy day uh, when I don't have anything better to do. Elemental Hero Neos, really classic card, and another uh, Elemental Hero Aqua, Aqua Neos. This is one of the cards that Upper Deck um, illegally reprinted with the silver stamp in a, a different set, so. All right, another Hero Neos. Oh, we pulled a super rare Elemental Hero Dark Neos. So hard to see here in the light, but um, really, really cool card and a really cool reprint there. So we are we are doing really well on the pull ratios here. So we'll, we'll do about two or three more packs and, and call it quits. Elemental Hero Blade Edge, so a lot of cool, like I said, a lot of cool Elemental Hero cards. Uh, really, that's a really cool card to pull an ultimate. And maybe we'll open until we pull one more hollow and then call it quits. Wild Heart, Fake Hero, and Wild Edge. Kidding. Well, took the pressure off really early in this opening by pulling the best card in the set, in my opinion. Neo Space, Space and Dark Panther, rare. Flare Neos, another really cool. All the, all the elemental hero cards. It was a little past my era of collecting, but um, I can definitely appreciate people wanting to collect all those cards. Aqua Dolphin again. So yeah, we're probably gonna start hitting a lot of duplicates with her, this set being so tiny. Probably hit a dry patch here of like 15 packs too without pulling anything. Flare Scarab. So I think we probably pulled all the rares now. It's just a matter of what is the last follow that we pull going to be? Another Aquanius. So I must have, must have cut the pile exactly right coming out of the box to Blade Edge. And we end on something really cool. Edge Hammer. So we're gonna end it on Edge Hammer. Super rare. So we'll do a quick recap here of the four hollows that we did pull. Um, we got Edge Hammer, Elemental Hero, Dark Neos, Kid Guard, and then very first pack, the ultra rare one in 24 packs, Card Trooper. So really excited to pull that. Um, uh, the, the two shops that I went to here in Hawaii had a lot of cool stuff and um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this opening and as always, thanks for watching.